friends, welcome to the Spogo Weekly News Wrap. I am Karina Michwan. Starting with India's brilliant win at the fourth test against England, India beat England by an inning and 25 runs to win the series 3-1. Rishabh Pant was awarded Player of the Match for his gritty century, while Ravi Chandran Ashwin was a judge Player of the Series for his brilliant all-round performances. India climbed the spot to second in the latest ICC Men's T20 International Team rankings ahead of a five-match series against top-placed England that began on March 12. BCCI on Sunday announced a schedule for Vivo Indian Premier League 2021. The season will kickstart on 9th April in Chennai with a high-voltage clash between defending champions Mumbai Indians and Royal Challengers Bangalore. Coming to some badminton news, PV Sindhu settled for silver at the Swiss Open 2021 after losing against Spain's Carolina Marine in the final. The ace Indian shuttler went down against world number one and Olympic champion Marine 12-21-5-21 in the final of the women's singles event on Sunday. Coming to hockey, striker Mandeep Singh struck a brace as the Indian men's hockey team etched out a close 3-2 win over Great Britain. Harmanpreet Singh's strike in the very first minute and two goals by Mandeep helped India remain undefeated on the Europe Tour. Moving on to some football news, PSG knocked out Barcelona at the round of 16 clash in the Champions League after a 1-1 draw in the second leg. Messi's side lost 5-2 on an aggregate and failed to reach the last eight of the competition for the first time in 14 years. Despite a 3-2 victory against Porto at the Alliance Arena, Juventus knocked out due to away goals in the Champions League round of 16 for the second consecutive time. The result dealt a major blow to the Italian Giants' ambitions as they hoped to secure the prestigious trophy this season. Premier League champions Liverpool suffered their sixth consecutive defeat at Anfield with a 1-0 loss to relegation-threatened Fulham. The Reds suffered the longest string of home defeats in the club history and now find themselves in 8th position, 22 points behind league leaders Manchester City with 10 games to go. Speaking of tennis, Swiss great Roger Federer returned from injury to beat Britain's Dan Evans at the Qatar Open. It was Federer's first match in 13 months. The 39-year-old Federer underwent two knee surgeries last year following the 2020 Australian Open. Moving on to the world of combat sports, 16 fighters will take the ring across different categories at the Pan 6 event that will take place on March 13 at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Greater Noida. The event will be broadcasted live on the Punch Boxing social media platforms. Israel and Adesanya faced Jan Blakovic in a closely contested match at UFC 259 at Apex Las Vegas. Despite the two going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, Blakovic gained the upper hand after round three to hand his opponent his first MMA defeat. Taking a look at some motorsports news, Ferrari have unveiled the car they hope will revive the fortune after the worst season in 40 years in 2020. Team boss Mattia Binotto said that the revised car was more efficient and the new engine more powerful after straight line speed proved the biggest weakness last year. Speaking of Extreme E, the brand new electric off-road race series announced a broadcast partnership with Sports TV Croatia. The country's leading sports station SPTV will broadcast each five of the series expri including live broadcast repeats and highlights in English on its linear channels. Concluding with some news about the Olympics, Olympic champion Thomas Bash has been re-elected for an additional four-year term as the president of the International Olympic Committee. The 67-year-old German received 93 yes and one no votes from the 94 valid votes. That's all we have in the news wrap today. But you do stay tuned to www.spogonews.com for all the sporting action from around the world. This is Karina signing off. See you next week. <laughs>